Hello to my 233 subscribers and welcome back to the King Fox channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Matt Conagher and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. Go ahead and hit that like button. It helps out the channel and feel free to share this video with all your friends and family. In this video, which is vertical rudder, I'm going to be dropping in the last three bolts, the washers and the nuts that go on them, hand tighten them and get this thing lined up. In the previous video, if you haven't watched it already, you can go back and see that one. That should be number 31. You can watch that video and see where I'm setting the gap at the top of the rudder and the bottom of the rudder, and that allows me to get the middle eye lined up so that I can drop that bolt in. And then this is basically an exercise for me to uh, line me up to put the ribs in. So I'll be able to clamp the rudder into place and using the pre-existing fuselage where I'm gonna have to put the ribs in there that line up with the ribs into the tail. I'll have to line them up, mark them, cut them, fit them, put on the epoxy varnish. I'm gonna check to see if I do need the three coats like I did on the horizontal stabilizer. If I don't, I'm gonna go with the two coats. I think I'll be able to knock that out in two days. I can basically put a coat per side. I think the drying time is about four hours. So I'll be able to put a coat on one side, let that dry, flip them over, put another coat on it, come out the next day, lightly sand both sides and hit them again with another coat and finish that up faster than I did with the horizontal stabilizer. Then I'll be installing them with the Hysol 9460 and Following that, I think I have to do a trailing edge and a leading edge on the on the tail that's existing on the fuselage and then on the piece that I just bolted on today. In this video, I found that my rudder swings farther to the right than it did to the left and I just put the horizontal stabilizer out and I was able to measure from the swing to the left and the swing to the right based off basically each point on the horizontal stabilizer and I had about an inch difference. So in this video, you're gonna see me grinding down the tabs just a little bit and all I'm trying to do is get an equal swing in both directions. Um, I did rig up a small jig based off using my speed square and a large piece of cardboard and extending the uh, hypotenuse out to give me a larger angle so I could put that up against the rudder, swing it left and right. I believe it's quite crude, so I need to get on the KitFox forum and look around and see other methods that other people have used and uh, see if I can, do I need to do it before I put the ribs in or can I do it after I put the ribs in because after I put the ribs in, I'm gonna have some curves in there. I should still be able to measure from between the ribs, but I think it would be easier to take that measurement now and at least see where I'm at or be able to make some marks down on the tabs below. So I'll be uh, doing some research on that. And if any of you guys know who's got a good video to watch, please let me know in the comments down below. So enough of me rambling on, let's get into the video. Thanks for coming back and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. All right, I'm gonna drop these, uh, I'm gonna drop these bolts. AN3-7 alphas down through the top, washer from the bottom, and a nut goes on the bottom. And they're supposed to be torqued to 12 to 15 inch pounds, but for the time being, I'm going to leave them hand tight because most certainly this is going to come off when I put the front fairing on it. So right now they're just sitting in there just like that. All right, next thing I gotta do is uh, do a little bit of filing to make sure that I achieve 25 degrees of rudder travel uh, in each direction. Um, so I'm gonna figure out how to do that now. With the rudder installed, file the rudder stops as required to achieve 25 degrees of travel both left and right. It's not a good idea to do that right now. I've got an unequal swing left and right. I'm gonna file them both down to get to the point where they are equal because as you can see, there's a blue line on the right tab, but there's not much of a line on the left tab because I have more swing to the left than I do to the right. So I'm gonna file a little bit off to the right. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna do a little rough grinding to get uh, the tail so that it swings equidistant both directions. Mm -hmm. 